the statue possessor. It cannot speak. It cannot touch. Without a body, it can't do much. To find a body of its own, it tries to find one made of stone. You will have seen it when you're out and about. That is a fact. There is no doubt. The statue possessor you will find can hide in statues of any kind. From stone angels weeping by the sides of graves, to the statues hidden in ancient caves, at night it likes to crawl and creep, as to not disturb those who sleep. When it finds a host with stone for skin, that's when the horror can begin. It chooses its victim with great care to make sure to pick someone easy to scare. When it finds its victim, it will start to stalk. It will follow them wherever they walk. The possessor's males that are most enjoyed are the ones who are most paranoid. A person's deepest, darkest fear is what brings the statue possessor near. It stalks and follows so very keen, but never moves when it is seen. People drive themselves crazy. They don't understand. They're falling right into the possessor's hand. When they start to think, they're making it up in their head. Within the week, they will be dead. When their fear is at its spike, then the monster chooses to strike. The victim will hide in distress and panic, locked away in their houses, feeling quite manic. The possessor now approaches, not caring if it is sane, and snaps the neck of the victim. Before leaving the scene, it feeds on the repressed delusions and fears, the sorrow, the pain, the bottled-up tears. It then leaves the statue to find another poor soul to feed on more fears. That is its goal. One more thing you should know about the beast made of stone is that it finds its next victim. By making itself known. So whether or not you believe this is true, the statue possessor is now after you. Because of this poem that you shouldn't have read, it knows where you are, and you will soon be dead.